about to do a house race. Whoever loses has to cook the other one a meal. Go! If we are out of olive oil, I'm going to... Oh, I think we are. Oh, oh my God! Damn, bro, you fit in that chair? No. I don't. <laughs> All right, who's excited to go sneaker shopping? Let's go. Yeah. Have you guys been to the store before? Uh, we went to the one in Beverly Hills. What's it called again? Impossible Kicks. This one just opened too, didn't it? Yeah. I think this one's gonna be nice as well. What size shoe is everyone? I'm an eight or a seven and a half. I'm a twelve. He just wanted to flex. No, I just want to know what everyone else was. <laughs> you gonna buy us a pair of shoes one day? Hey, you never know. He wanted to flex the shoe size. <laughs> you knew we were gonna hit you with the how about you? What does shoe size matter? Mm, ladies, does it? Oh, God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Your mind out the gutter, Faith. Mine isn't out the gutter. You're over here trying to flex the shoe size. You know what they say. Now nah, I can't even ask questions. <laughs> Jalen's the type of guy to be like, let's compare hand sizes. <laughs> <laughs> the most Christian man in this car. <laughs> and you're worried, you're worried about me asking about shoe size and hand size. It'd be the Christian guys that be asking, can I get a hug? Okay, you never know. <laughs> That's so judgmental. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Might have to do it. Might have to do it. Could I bring myself to $300 slides? Am I that bougie yet? I just might go to Chinatown, if you know what I mean. <laughs> for those. <laughs> There's literally no better shoe for a guy to wear when they're wearing shorts than dunk legs. Can't change my mind. He got them Draw. coochie cutters. <laughs> he loves the coochie cutters. This shoe really encapsulates Jalen. I feel like Cinderella. Does it fit? Oh, it fits! Yes! Okay, the Carolina Blues. Yes. Wait. I have those too. Hey, we can Low key make a video. We can make a dance video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The inspiration behind my shoe collection was the fact that I had no drip. So like I was wearing like I have like the polo like boat shoes and like a like long sleeve crew neck. Oh man, I could not dress myself at all. And then I got a few followers and was like, I should probably present myself a little bit better and learn how to dress. So I, I started with shoes. Word, word, word. We about to hit the trampoline park. We about to get loose, let loose, foot loose. I have like a bad history with them. I've never rid, rode like or like was on trampolines when I was a kid. Somebody once told me I was like too fat to get on and I would break <gasps> it. So, the trauma. <laughs> you know, maybe this is me coming back for her. Yeah, saying F you to that guy. Okay. The fact if he's that there, I, then we'll play dodgeball. And, uh, if he's I'll there, take, yeah. Take Steph will take him I'll out. Take him out. <laughs> Look who just showed up. I was getting a haircut. Jeez, man. Let's go back. Live my life. <laughs> I can't drum in a trampoline because I'll bust the hole through it. Look at me now, jumping. It hasn't even been five minutes and I'm ready out of breath. We're about to do a house race. Whoever loses has to cook the other one a meal. So they're going to run across here, bounce off the backboard, touch the wall, and run back. Three, two, one, go! So, Seth has to cook for me. Quick. Now. Woo! Good game. Good game, Seth. Good sportsmanship. Good game. <laughs> I took the L today. How about someone else cooks? And I'll do the dishes tonight. I'll cook. Okay. This dude doesn't season his chicken. He doesn't even season his chicken. I'm definitely cooking. I'm, I'm good with that. Me and Liz. I love seasoned chicken. We don't <laughs> cook. We don't clean. <laughs> well, we still got a ring. It's, it's actually healthier without to lyric. eat without <laughs> the seasoning. Oh. I don't have a ring on it. So I'm cooking for the house and I am making chicken alfredo. This is my favorite dish that my mom makes. These will never fail for your chicken, ever, I promise. Salt, pepper, lemon pepper, cayenne pepper. It's all you need. So everything that I've learned 
um, from cooking was, again, from my mom. In simplest terms, my mom is white, my dad is black. My mom had to learn how to cook to keep up with what my dad was eating when he was growing up. And I learned everything from her. All right, guys, so I'm gonna set this table up half on, half off. Look at that. Come on. It's like I'm, it's like I'm about to serve the Kardashians right now. If we are out of olive oil, I'm going to... Oh, I think we are. Oh, oh right? my gosh! I guess dinner is canceled, guys. We got no olive oil. Chef can't cook. So how are you gonna make this work? Use sesame oil. We've got our chicken ready. Our oven is over there preheating at 350. It's at 270 right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching. We see that. So when it hits 350, that means we're good to go and we can start searing our chicken. Do you guys want bell peppers in it? Are you okay with that? Uh, can I get a special order? What do you want? Just with, like a side of just like plain, plain pasta? Yeah, that's fine. While he's doing that over there, over here, I'm serving up the cafeteria food for everybody. Good dinner. Appetizers. So how are we gonna, we're all gonna stand and eat like this? <laughs> Well, you can move it like, if I want to eat right here away. <laughs> Whose idea was this? All right, so we're gonna start searing the chicken. Boom, okay, pasta's in. The chicken is nice and seared on both sides. Look at that sear, oh, that's beautiful. Throw that in here, let it cook the rest of the way. Good enough. We just take a moment and see what I did there. Right here, how nice and neat it is. So nice. Did it for you guys. The last component of the sauce, Parmesan cheese. Boom. Oh yeah, that's good. Look at that. Special side dish. Good? It's perfect. So now we add in the chicken and peppers. Boom. The beauty of it all. When it all comes together. Look at this pour. Look at this. Come on now. See if mom picks up. Show her what I made. Hey mom. Hi. Look what I made. Chicken Alfredo? Yeah, I made it for the house. Hey, say hi to the camera. Hi. So this is the lady that I got the recipe from. So if you ever try and steal it, I'm coming for your neck. Wow. Dang. I'm eating good tonight. Eating good. Thank you, Jalen. Of course, of course. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Try it. <laughs> Eat food. And be honest, you know, you don't have to. Mm hmm. Mm. That's actually really good. Jalen knows what he's doing, bro. Jalen's mom, I love you. The big CEO. <laughs> straight up. Thanks for giving birth to Jalen. Yeah, straight up. Aw, thanks, guys. He's an amazing guy. It's funny so that I gotta do all the dishes tonight. Yeah, right? but I actually have to be somewhere that's been planned tonight. And tomorrow the maids, I guess, are coming on <laughs> Friday. No, no, no. The Which deal, is crazy. The deal is you're doing all the dishes tonight. I will. Like I don't know what tonight is. Like it could be like late tonight. Uh huh. Who knows? Anything can happen. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you, Jalen. It's always been a pleasure. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Please go check us out on all social platforms at Last to Leave Miami.